Well friends, I forgot to mention this, I should have told this earlier that the scheme of virus transmission or viral infection is kind of different and you should know the proper concept of it. Now, uh, in this case you probably heard many names like virus reservoirs, virus host, virus vectors and all these things. So what are these things? People sometimes often confuse between these things. So let me clarify all these things for you. So there are three things that you should heard of. One is vectors for a disease. Second thing is host uh, for the disease or reservoir reservoir for the disease and third is uh, third is the infection is causing or, or, or the individual which is having the infection right so infected so it's, it's not infected actually a healthy host healthy uh, person or healthy individual I must write healthy individual so you must require these three things for most of the viral infections right so what this thing signifies actually so let me talk okay so usually uh, for all these viruses for example the virus like yellow fever virus for this kind of viruses to stay it requires a host cell to grow and multiply at a particular limit right that is called the host or reservoir for that virus and if I take this one say this is the reservoir reservoir for the virus and in this reservoir the virus particles if I draw the virus particle as these red things they start to grow and they multiply this they are stored there in this reservoir so this is this is uh, our uh, what you can say specimen a it is having this acting as a reservoir growing and multiplying viruses are present inside it right and definitely they require a healthy individual this is a healthy sample or healthy specimen whatever we call it say specimen B it is healthy it is free of any viruses free of any infection now this is the situation we have one reservoir carrying the viruses these are the virus and we have another individual which is healthy right now we must require a medium which will transfer this disease from this reservoir to the healthy sample or healthy uh, person right so that medium the third medium which is helping to carry or transfer this infection from one person to another person is termed as vectors it can be air so let me write so if there is a boundary to cross now if you cross this boundary we can probably spread our infection right now this boundary can be crossed by via air so let me talk it, it, it can be crossed via air we have already talked via food or via some other individual if it is crossed by some other individual then we probably call it as a vector so here I draw a third thing third thing which will be called as vector this is termed as sample C now this vector is playing the role of transferring this virus particle from this reservoir or the host to the healthy individual so here we go it will take this inside so this vector is getting it and then the vector will transfer this to this healthy individual now healthy individual after respond after getting all this thing will be developed into sorry, it will be developed into a kind of dangerous situation like this it will get the disease right so this is the actual scheme of viral infection now in this case vectors uh, sometimes functions only as a transferring agent of the virus particles sometimes vector can also serve as reservoir some other kinds they can also serve as reservoirs so vectors can sometimes can serve as reservoir 
very few occasions and when we get this healthy individual getting diseased that is definitely not telling us that is, this is uh, converting into reservoir reservoir are those individuals which are carrying this virus so reservoirs can get disease or uh, they may get disease or may not so they may or may not get the disease right but definitely the healthy individual is getting the disease so this is a scheme of infection you should know this proper understanding of infection and infectivity and the transmission of infection before going into the further details okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you